So there is no cup race this week because of the two-week hiatus for the Olympics, but I have come up with a list of drivers and how they did in their first 100 starts. Coming up next. So there's no real particular order to the list. I just pulled some guys uh, that are pretty awesome, like Dale Earnhardt, Richard Petty, uh, Jeff Gordon, and then some guys who are currently running, and I uh, just sort of mashed it together. So first on the list is Kyle Busch, and in his first 100 starts, he had four wins, 24 top fives, and 43 top tens. So not bad for the driver of the number 18 for Joe Gibbs Racing. Next guy on the list is Dale Jr. with six wins, 18 top fives, and 30 top tens. Not going to lie, this one surprised me. I had no idea that the guy got six wins in his first 100 starts. That's pretty impressive. Next guy on the list is Jimmy Johnson, and with 10 wins, 35 top fives, and 57 top tens. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, shortly removed from being retired, but sometimes you just forget how good and how dominant this guy was. He killed it. And next on the list is Tony Stewart with 12 wins, 38 top fives, and 64 top tens. I'll go ahead and spoil it now. This is the absolute best first 100 races of anybody, I think. And next on the list is the King, Richard Petty, and with five wins, 30 top fives, and 50 top tens. That is not a bad start for the King himself. Second only to uh, Tony Stewart as far as this list that I made. And you can't mention the King without mentioning the seven-time guy who matched him in championships, Dale Earnhardt. And in Dale Earnhardt's first 100 starts, he had six wins, about 31 top fives, and about 43 uh, top tens, give or take. Uh, sort of had to fudge those numbers a little bit because I couldn't get exactly accurate data. And much like you can't Richard, mention Richard Petty without mentioning Dale Earnhardt, you can't mention Dale Earnhardt without mentioning Jeff Gordon. So Jeff Gordon next on the list with nine wins, 33 top fives, and 50 top tens. Pretty impressive for the Rainbow Warrior, driver of the 24. And recently, team, new team owner Brad Keselowski for Roush Racing. In his first 100, he had six wins, 14 top fives, and 25 top tens. So a little bit low on the top fives and top tens, but really impressive with six wins. So that's uh, not bad. He, I guess he either won or wrecked. And next on the list is current fan favorite Chase Elliott with three wins, 33 top fives, and 58 top tens. Chase Elliott has off, was off to a nice start in his first 100 races as well, a, a pile of top tens. Of course, it took him a while to get that first win, but uh, after he got it, he was on a roll. Up to 13 currently now, I think. And last but not least, you know I had to put my man Kyle Larson on this list. So Kyle Larson, in his first 100 starts, one win, 15 top fives, and 35 top tens. And a fun fact about that, he actually won his first race on that 99th start uh, for Chip Ganassi Racing. So Kyle Larson uh, actually would sort of, I was surprised. His numbers are lower than, than most of the guys on this list, but... uh he made up for it, uh, at least this season, so he's on a roll now, so we'll see how it plays out. So like I said, no preview this week, so I just made up this list. Uh, let me know down in the comments if there's somebody I left out, or if there's any other type of content you want to see during the hiatus, I will get to work on it. And uh, other than that, please, if you like the content, subscribe. I really appreciate it, and thanks for your time. Peace.